All right, so Japan was hit by an earthquake uh, 231 miles northeast of Tokyo out uh, in the North Pacific Ocean, and it caused a 30-foot wave, and the earthquake was caused by a shift in tectonic plates, as all earthquakes are caused. And when the wave hit, it really hit hard, and it caused four nuclear power plants to shut down. One of them even leaked out radiation, ca causing 10 kilometers of around distance to evacuate. The wave was also struck and caused 6 million homes to lose power. The coastal region of Japan received the most amount of damage, debris everywhere. Caught, uh, people caught were, were caught in, under rubble, and 15,000 people even died. Hello, my name is Justice Cooper, and I'll be talking about the Japan earthquakes and tsunami which occurred on March 11, 11, 2011. Right. Before the earthquake and tsunami struck, the, uh, Japan was one of the most prepared countries for such disasters. It had several sea walls surrounding the coast, and um, they had buildings that were made out of materials that wouldn't like collapse during the earthquake. It would just bend instead of collapsing on itself. Also, kids were put through rigorous drills that could show them and show them like how it will feel during an earthquake and how to deal with that. Also, every school or like very large business would have a chute that would come out of like every room and like so they can slide down it to safety and escape the building before it could cause harm. Also, uh, they were also put through the drills and uh, the country was tested, well, the government was tested about like their politicians to see how they would deal with such things, like what they would put the money towards, towards, and what what should what should be built first. Also, the um, other countries were affected, such as China and some other regions, but they those damages were just minimal to what happened in Japan. Uh, Japan was in debt about 200% below the usual GDP. It was pretty bad. Also, all means of transportation was pretty much just shut down due to the earthquake and tsunami just wiping out all sorts of tra uh, transportation. It so everybody was like isolated in that one area. So most of the people died just because they couldn't get out. So they most of the people just um, suffered underneath the rubble of the houses and other businesses. And that's pretty much how all the people, there was a large death number. Well, that is all I have for my part of this uh, project. And that's it. All right, guys. So Japan's government was really involved in the cleanup, uh, forcing everyone, like, they didn't want for them not to get not just leave it there. They wanted them to get it cleaned up so then they could move forward, especially with the radiation. The radiation was like the most damaging thing in, that happened during the tsunami. Uh, U.S. was really involved. They sent like seven ships, a few search and rescue teams, a bunch of military members, just so they could get Japan secure so that nobody would come in while they were in devastation and so J Japan could clean up in Japan they spent a lot of money and a lot of time and a lot of hard work cleaning it up through radiation cleanup uh, rebuilding everything that was lost on the coast and uh, just getting everybody back up on to their feet and getting everybody back to normal so they can live their lives again. Alright, now, after the tsunami and earthquake struck, there was a lot of debris and rubble just being pulled into the ocean, while well, killing a lot of sea creatures and just uh, living organisms, just polluting, the, just polluting the entire ocean, well, at least that region of it. Alright, Australia 
and China and some other big countries, well, at least neighboring countries, try to help Japan in the time of need after the Japan uh, after the Japan earthquake and tsunami struck them. So, uh, they the countries that help they send in a whole bunch of like rescue teams, search and rescue teams. Also, big businesses such as the Red Cross or Red Crescent sent like material and financial support to help relieve the uh, Japan in the time of need. So the they really helped Japan when they needed it and they really got them back on their feet.